Remember when Obama came out with the phone number, 1-800-FU? It actually spelled out the whole thing. And then they released another one that said, like, screw you. People said, wait, wait, there's no, it's not an accident. They're here to destroy you and your family. Do, I'm going to play the clip. And I'm going to play Ezekiel Emanuel, who wants death panels and to kill people at 75, saying the same thing. Do you understand? It's meant to wreck the system, period. Well, you know why I'm angry? I don't know when somebody says, um, they're screwing me and my family and your family and laughing at me while they do it and trying to wreck the healthcare system to get government control and death panels, not just for the troops. See, wherever you have government control is an example of how you'll live. I knew six years ago they'd started completely, they'd already been abusing them, they started putting troops on no treatment list. Joe Biggs is basically on one. No matter how many times he goes back, he can't get surgery for a bad knee, internal bleeding, all sorts of stuff. They put you, whether you're 25 or 75, on a list and you don't get health care. And then it came out that they're on a death list, don't treat. It's not even ration care. See, in England, it's the same system. It's a socialist eugenic system. I watch the parliamentary hearings all the time on C-SPAN. You'll have an operable brain tumor that's 97% operable in the particular speech I saw. And Tony Blair was prime minister at the time, and he admitted it. And the opposition got it and said... We have thousands of people waiting for lung surgery, heart surgery, brain surgery, where it's operable, but you make them wait 18 months and they die. And then they gave the example of the brain tumor that's operable if it's done within a few months, but they made the guy wait a year. By then, the brain tumor killed him. Tony Blair said, yes, it's true. We've messed up their problems. See, they'll admit they've, quote, messed up. No, it's on purpose. And then say they're going to fix it. FEMA really messed up. We need double funding. They always mess up, and they need more power to get it fixed. No, they're not messing up. The mid-level and low-level compartmentalized people go, why is this agency so screwed up? Why do we do this? Why am I, okay, the computer says don't give you treatment, but I'm not supposed to tell you that. I guess it's they don't have enough resources, but we're all sitting around here. We could do surgeries. Just says prescribe pills. That's what Obamacare is. It's globalized where the doctors can't make decisions. Do you understand that? This is it. You want Canadian or British health care? Paul Watson a couple years ago was coughing up blood for three weeks, had horrible strep in his lungs, kept going to the state-run system, couldn't get to private care until they authorized him. They have to give you permission to then go to a private clinic. They kept giving him a little pack like the military does with some aspirin, Tylenol, and uh, stuff in it. And he had stuff eating his lungs, and they wouldn't give him help. That's government control. Do you understand? And now it's all happening. And you're getting double, tripling of your premiums. Now they say, get ready. It's about to go up even more. Everyone I know, it's roughly doubled. Everyone. Some Texas plans, like Humana, we showed it has gone up 500 plus percent. We'll show the headline. Do you understand? And then they get up on television. Listen to him, like being Machiavellian and lying is a huge advantage. Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage, he added, and basically call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever, but basically that was really critical for the thing to pass. Look, I wish Mark was right that we could be transparent, but I'd rather have this law than not. So he's saying, we premeditatedly lied to you on purpose, on television, to bring in something that makes healthy people pay more. And they're sitting around with Democrats going, I'm sorry, we've got to deceive people. Do you understand? These are not liberals. Now, this guy may be a useful idiot and believes it's good to have a socialist system. It's not even a socialist system. It's a eugenics fascist system. Let's go to the clip of Gruber. It's just, you can't do it politically. You just literally cannot do it. Okay, transparent financing. And let's have transparent financing. Also, transparent spending. I mean, the, this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes, the bill dies. Okay, so it's written to do that. In terms of, in terms of risk-rated subsidies, if you had a law which said healthy people are going to pay in, it made explicit that healthy people pay in and sick people get money, it would not have passed. Okay, just like the people, transparent, lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. 
but basically that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. And you know, it's the second best argument. Look, I wish Mark was right, we could make it all transparent, but I'd rather have this law than not. So it's kind of like his reporter story. You know, oh, yeah, right, the things I wish it could change. But yeah, there you go, go ahead and lie to reporters, yeah. My, the whole clip's up on Infowars.com if you don't want to get nauseated. Of course, he's being deceptive here as well. We're going to lie to people bringing the screw job so healthy people can pay for sick people. No. No, it's phasing out the free health care that the states and cities and charities had and federalizing everything. And let me tell you, this economist knows. I can look at those little piggy eyes and these people that are into evil and deception are weak. So they've decided to cheat in life to defeat those of us that are moral. And then they've also dumbed down the general public. So even if you're moral, you're this well-meaning, bleeding heart that goes, I want to do Obamacare to help people. You know, there's rich people. We need to make them pay. Stop being such chumps. Stop being such morons. Collectivism never works on a mass scale because it's too complex and the elite set it up as a tyranny. Collectivism does work communally with agreement in very small groups of less than 100. But that isn't what we're talking about. There's natural collectivism and false collectivism. Stay with us. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one to four year supply of pure soaps or our one to two month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. In today's unstable environment, self-protection is critical. Civil unrest, riots, looting, it's happening now right here in the United States. And your rights are at risk. If passed, H.R. 5344 would ban Level 3 and above body armor. Katie Armor is standing up for you. We offer the most affordable Level 3 body armor on the market. Katie Level 3 armor withstands pistol and rifle hits up to 762 NATO. Get yours at katiearmor.com. That's C-A-T-I armor.com. Katie Armor, come and take it. Americans, you are being lied to. Does your skin crawl when a politician or a stock market guru say that we are in the midst of an economic recovery? According to top insiders, the largest financial meltdown in history is coming. You can prepare, but if you're living paycheck to paycheck, how do you find the cash? If you're fortunate enough to have retirement savings, it's probably not enough. And if it's in the market, it could be wiped out just like the last crash. But this time, it will almost certainly be much worse. Precious metals are a great hedge, but they won't generate immediate cash flow to pay the bills. Learn the secret to creating cash flow and freedom. Get a free copy of my special report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 800-704-4117. That's 800-704-4117 or visit babyboomerbackupplan.com. Traditional retirement may not be in the cards, but re-inspirement can change everything. Babyboomerbackupplan.com. We all have our own idea about what being safe and secure means. The doors lock, bills are paid, you've got a job that keeps the lights on, and a home to call your own. But what happens when Mother Nature throws a curveball? I'm telling you, yeah, take take cover. Cover. Are you prepared to live without electricity or passable roads for weeks at a time? Do you even have a plan B? If you do, are you willing to bet your life on it? Children left with no homes. And no one's coming to help them. Help them. The first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to MyPatriotSupply.com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48 states. Call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today. Or visit us at MyPatriotSupply.com. Remember, before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. Don't take a cold or flu lying down. Stand up and fight back with Supernatural Silver. Supernatural Silver is a natural immune system booster that is highly effective against viruses, bacteria, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is perfect for daily use and can be taken orally or used topically to keep you protected from whatever comes your way. This new technology is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver and is supported by extensive research from over 300 clinical studies at universities and independent research 
storage facilities across the country. Supernatural Silver has an exceptionally long storage life and should be an essential part of your emergency preparedness. Don't be caught off guard. Give your body the support it needs to fight off deadly pathogens that are lurking everywhere. Stock up on Supernatural Silver and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. By the way, if you just joined us, Anthony Gucciardi went up to Dallas this weekend to investigate. You know, we had a medical doctor on three weeks ago. It made national news out of Missouri who named the hospital where doctors had told him that people that they appeared to have Ebola were being disappeared. Then we had senior Border Patrol people on, on record, off record. It became a national news story, but died. Well, Anthony, this weekend, went up to Dallas to investigate. And the doctors are very scared. They think the hospitals are going to get the liability and the blame for being part of this cover-up. You know, the Forbes writer last week came out and said he was at a press conference with the CDC head and that the AP and everybody were talking about how they'd agreed to cover up what appeared to be Ebola cases. So it's confirmed now. And what Anthony discovered, I don't even know if I want to get him on today. I think I might want to write articles about it and then not gather more proof, but just think about this story and how we want to put it out. Not to spin it, I just need to mull it over because it's, it's, um, it's real bad. <sighs> this country is so screwed up, ladies and gentlemen. The public has no idea what's going on because they're blissfully ignorant and they're counting on our ignorance. I used the example 50 times the last few months. The Border Patrol said we've been ordered to stand down in January. It took us four or five months to go down and confirm it. And then the New York Times had to admit it a month later that they load them on buses and give them vouchers, our government does, at the border and ship them wherever they want to go. And then Border Patrol agents came out and said, we complete the smuggling process on Fox News, triple confirming what we reported. But we showed the emergency manager uh, in the city of McAllen saying, no, we're here, and they give them the vouchers, and we load them on buses. We were sent down there by an ice whistleblower. We met with them in a hotel room. They didn't even want their voice recorded. They um, We're going to send reporters back down there. And the reason I raise this is if they can hide bringing millions of people in, and let me tell you, it's millions. It's 300,000 kids, they're now saying, and that's only 17% of what's come in in the Border Patrol numbers. And that's what we know about. So what's 17% of 300,000 now in the last year, roughly? I don't know. It's, 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 it's millions. Millions that have come in. There's the headline, caught red-handed Border Patrol paying to ship illegals deep in the U.S. You can watch the video there, Infowars.com. If they can cover up millions of people being brought in and the government putting them on buses and little InfoWars has to go expose it, you know AP, Reuters, Fox News, all of them, the New York Times, they're all down there. They all know too. Don't you think Border Patrol's gone to them? They do go to them. Don't you think Tosh Plumley went to Fox News first and CNN? Yes. They come to us because they know we will verify their story and then go with it. Why do you think federal marshals and state police come to us with secret documents on targeting the liberty movement? Because nobody else believed them. We weren't the first people they went to. But because we've been doing this so long, we now are the first people folks go to. And by the way, I don't like that responsibility. I am sick of this 20-year war I've been in. I'm not scared of these people. I get so angry at people like Ezekiel Emanuel and Gruber making jokes about Obamacare when it's got death panels for old people, for handicapped kids, for the veterans, 
and is screwing everybody over to shut the economy down and raping everybody's paycheck. It's like being mugged every month by these smiley face pieces of crap. And I'm sorry to be talking like that, but I mean, what won't we put up with in this country? I want that stinking Republican Party to repeal the whole thing right now, and I want criminal investigations. We have the criminals bragging about deceiving us in a giant screw job and, and, and deceiving Congress and not calling it a tax. Congress wasn't.